Britain is going to have to answer to the American people is what exactly are the terms of these loans? What type of documentation do you have on these loans? Were you going to pay these loans back? Were these forgivable loans? Were these grants? If so, in addition to influence peddling, which we have clearly proved the Bidens were doing, they have tax fraud implications with the IRS. When are you expecting to issue the subpoenas to bring Biden family members in front of your committee? And how many subpoenas are you expecting to issue? Well, I think the subpoenas are imminent. I think this is going to be a big week. Look, first of all, we know Tuesday, uh, my friend Jim Jordan, who's also on the Oversight Committee, but he's chair of the Judiciary Committee, doing a great job investigating the weaponization of the federal government. Uh, he's bringing in uh, Special Counsel Weiss for a deposition. That is a, a very important part of the overall impeachment inquiry investigation. There are also a, a lot of other documents that I think are about to be released this week pertaining to loans and different things that the, the Bidens have been engaged in that make no sense, uh, that are, are completely counter to what Joe Biden has said publicly. Uh, we're also, as you know, we've subpoenaed a lot of bank documents, and it's taken a long time to get these bank documents in. We're waiting on a few more uh, documents to come in that we've successfully subpoenaed, but it's taken forever. And, and again, Maria, I don't think the average person can imagine how many different checking accounts the president's son had. And considering he didn't have a legitimate business, that in itself is an enormous red flag. So once all those come in, I think you're going to see swift action on, on Biden's. And I would, I would predict uh, somewhere around two dozen subpoenas uh, in the very near future. Two dozen subpoenas. Subpoenas are imminent. Uh, and you said each of these LLCs had dozens of accounts attached to the LLC? Some LLCs had a single account. Some uh, LLCs had multiple accounts. But uh, it, you know, it's been very difficult not only to obtain all of the bank statements, but to put the pieces together. Again, I can't emphasize this enough. This was a very organized criminal scheme by the Bidens. And here's the problem for Joe Biden. He lied about his knowledge and involvement of his family's shady influence peddling schemes. We've proven the family was influence peddling. Even the Democrats and the media won't touch that. We have proven the Bidens were influence peddling. Now what we're looking at is Joe's involvement. And what we have proven in the last two weeks with the checks to Joe Biden is Joe Biden benefited directly from his fa family's shady influence peddling scheme. And it doesn't matter whether or not they come up with some type of document that says it was a loan, which it wasn't, but let's just say that they come up with something. The only way they could have paid Joe Biden is through the family's influence peddling. So either Joe Biden got a $240,000 kickback, which he didn't pay taxes on, or Joe Biden actually did make a loan to the family, and they paid him back through proceeds of influence peddling and 40,000 of that being the 10% from that CEFC deal where wow. Joe Biden was the big guy. Either way, Joe Biden's $240,000 better off because of his family's criminal activity.